Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Anti VFX, and today's video we are going to create uh, effect uh, something like this. Let's see what we are going to create. Right. In this video, basically, we are trying to understand how to create uh, this kind of colorful scanline effect. And also, I'll explain how to create uh, this kind of uh, transition effect. Uh, you may have seen this kind of uh, transition effect uh, for the color grading rails, stuff like that. So, I'll also explain that, how to create that. So, let's get started. So I have a clip added to my timeline. You can see a pretty standard uh, clip. So let's get started with the effect. For this uh, effect, uh, you need uh, two uh, default effects inside Adobe Premiere. Go to the effects panel and uh, search the grid effect. Uh, you can type the grid here. So this is the grid. It is under the generate category. Uh, double click on this uh, effect to apply to the, this clip. Now you can see we have applied the grid effect. So now uh, we want to configure this uh, grid effect. Uh, you can see uh, when you go to the effects control panel, you can see the grid uh, parameters. There are so many settings that you can control. Uh, go to the size from and change it to uh, width and height sliders, right? Like this and change the width to like uh, 1920. Uh, if you uh, you can customize these scan lines uh, based on your preference uh, that's completely up to you you can control everything and then uh, in here you can control the anchor point settings of the grid so i'll move this to uh, this way so i can move that line and i can create uh, this kind of uh, scan lines All right so now uh, we have uh, added a grid in here, you can see some other parameters. If you want to change the colors and feather, there are so many parameters if you want to modify this effect. Now, uh, go to the blending mode and here you must select the color dodge. You can see here. And when you do that, uh, you can get this kind of uh, feeling uh, here. Of course, as I mentioned, you can uh, change the grid uh, settings uh, based on your preferences. That is not, uh, you don't have to create the scan line effect uh, as same as I do. So now uh, go to the effects panel again and uh, search the four color gradient effect. So this is uh, the four color gradient effect. I drag and drop this to the clip and uh, now everything disappeared. Go to the effects control panel and uh, go to the four color gradient uh, settings. And here uh, you can change this blend mode to like uh, screen something uh, or maybe I think uh, the overlay would be better right like this. So you can customize the parameters based on your preferences and now we have uh, created uh, this grid defect like this. Right, so now let's see how to create this uh, very quickly. Uh, in a professional project, uh, we have to save time. So I'm going to show you how to save this as a preset. By that way, you can apply this uh, grid effect uh, very quickly, right? So. Select the clip and you can see the two effects that we created, grid effect and the four color gradient. Uh, first, uh, click on the grid effect, then hold your shift key on your keyboard and then uh, press the four color, uh, sorry, uh, press the control key and uh, press the grid effect again. Now we have selected the two effects. Those are the effects that is uh, create this effect. And now you can right click here and save preset. And now uh, under this uh, save preset dialog box, uh, give this a uh, name, let's say, anti-vfx scan lines like this right click ok once you uh, saved a preset uh, it will appear on your effects panel you can see there is a special for all the presets in here all the custom presets will be saved and you can expand this panel and you can see this uh, effect that we just saved that is uh, anti-vfx scan lines right so that is the effect so how do we apply that let's say uh, you are in a new project i'm going to delete this and now you want to apply, uh, get this effect pretty quickly. You can go to the preset and you can drag and drop this like this. And we can uh, pretty quickly get that effect. So we don't have to configure that effect again and again. 
So as I mentioned, uh, let me show you the timeline that I showed you uh, earlier. So this is the uh, demo video I created and you can see I have added this uh, wipe transition. This is a uh, wipe transition. Uh, you can find this under transition, you can type the wipe. You can get that transition when you double click on it here, you can adjust the duration. I have uh, expand the duration of this wipe transition so it looks nice nice uh, when you play uh, this, like this. Right. So in here you can see uh, I have added a white border. So if you go to the, when you select the white transition and go to the effects controls, here you can see the border color. You can click here and you can change the border color uh, whatever you want, right, like this, right? So, and also you can increase the border width like this based on your preferences, right? You can see uh, we can increase this like say 20 and you can see we have increased the border uh, width. Right, I think that uh, like eight may be good, uh, this kind of clean transition. And uh, that is uh, how we create uh, this uh, scanline effect inside Adobe Premiere. So thank you so much for watching the video. And if you haven't subscribed to NTPFX, uh, please subscribe. I'll be back with the next uh, Adobe Premiere tutorial. Sometimes when you're here, I can't